Hey guys, today we are going to break down all the movements of our core in a short sitting position and how we can turn them into exercises. Our torso can move in tremendous amount of planes that allow us to wiggle, to dance, to reach and grab things. But broken down, we go forward back, we can bend to the side, and we can do a little bit of twisting. So now we can practice certain movements to get really strong in areas of weakness. The first one we're going to look at is the forward crunch. So we don't want to just fall forward, that's way too easy. What I really want you to think about is the muscles you're activating in your front abdominals. So hand across chest, proud, and bring yourself to your knees, really thinking about those muscles in the front that you're contracting. If you're stuck at the bottom, just use your hands to sit right back up into the sitting. Cross your hands across your chest and crunch again. If we're looking to increase the intensity, I've just rigged a band to my doorway and I'm actually going to just slip into it and have it hug my armpits. If there's any sort of pain or discomfort, throw a towel. We don't want any irritation in your armpits. What you're going to do, this is going to resist us going in the forward plane because it's going to want to pull us back. So you're going to go against the resistance and crunch forward. Again, you can help yourself with your arms to get back up to sitting if need be. The next exercise is working on the back side, so our back muscles to help us sit tall and to get us back up into that sitting position. So you're gonna start at the end of the crunch and without using your hands, really think about bringing yourself back up to sitting posture, really tall, engage those shoulder blades down and back. You can actually use your arms to help transition the weight if you'd like to. It actually helps you engage those back muscles as well. So arms back and squeezing down and back to get back up to tall posture. Depending on your level of injury, this could be quite difficult. So using the rigged band, again across my chest, I'm gonna allow it to assist me this time into a tall sitting posture once I've folded forward. So you're gonna crunch forward. And again, the band's gonna help you back up into sitting. This is a great way to start to see where you're at and to help progress you to using no band at all. Whether you have bands around or not, you can still work on your back extension with different angles of the forward fold. If you go a little bit more shallow in the angle and then strengthen that range, you can go deeper and then strengthen that, watching yourself progress, really focusing on the quality of our back extensions. The next movement of our core is our side bending. We have a video already on the mechanics of the oblique dip, but let's just quickly run through it. Bringing your chest to the sky, tall posture, hands across chest. You're gonna use the chair as your feedback mechanism to keep that tall posture during your side bending. So creating a nice C with your body, you're gonna use the opposite side to pull back to center. Remember, the deeper you go, the harder it will be. So strengthen those small ranges before you progress to deeper ones. If you want to increase the intensity of your oblique dip because you're strong in your full side bending range, keep your armrest down and your seatbelt on because we're going to add a weight. This weight's going to want to pull you even deeper onto one side, which will make it harder to get back up into that tall sitting position. So you can use your other arm as a counterweight, or you can cross it across your body to make it even tougher. Remember, good posture, quality movements. Now we're going to do the twisting motions of our core. This is really great to keep the health of our spine nice and tip top. Because we spend so much time in this forward backward plane, we don't spend a lot of time twisting. We really want to help keep the spine mobile. So starting with your hands across chest and a nice proud posture, you're going to show your shoulders to the one corner of the room and then you're going to twist to the other. So allowing your gaze to follow, show your chest to each corner of the room. This is going to be a really great exercise, not only for your spine, but for your digestive tract as well to help keep things moving in the lower abdominal region. If you want to make it a little harder, you can kind of turn it into a Russian twist. So I've grabbed just a sugar bag from my cupboard 
and I'm allowing the weight to transition from one side of my body to the other, keeping it nice and close to my body, because if I put it further away, it's gonna be much harder to keep an upright posture. Definitely something you can progress to. This is also something that might be tricky if you have challenges with uh, grabbing and gripping things. So you can also lay something across your forearms to provide an extra weight for your twisting motion. If you extend, again, it will be a little tougher. Tall posture, shoulders down and back, and quality over quantity. So now let's throw it all together into a nice little circuit, two to three sets, 20 to 30 reps, quality over quantity. I'll do it with you just at super speed.